Hello, welcome to my video where I cover the seven teams that did not make it in the playoffs for the spring split in the LPL and what I believe they need to do this offseason to improve, at least in between the splits, if they have any chance of making it in the summer split playoffs. I will say, I mean, I've said it a few times now, but if you haven't watched one of my videos before, um, I really feel like the LPL has like eight or nine teams that are really, really stinking good. And then we have these guys. And even then, I think these two teams are actually pretty good. And then the rest is uh, the rest. But, um, so, how do you get better if you're part of the rest? Um, Thunder Talk, for instance. Everyone's going to say, well, Thunder Talk finished last place. But Chieftain and UCAL, they didn't come in early in the split. So, midway through, they never got it together with the team. And, you know, part of that is true. But they struggled even against these teams, and that's not acceptable. Like, you have to beat these teams. You, you, you cannot finish last place if you're investing all that money and that time into bringing players in from outside the region. Not only that, I think the bot lane struggled. I think Puff and Southwind really struggled at times. Um, Southwind, I think, is a was a good support. Was. He's at a point now where... Um, I think they need to look elsewhere. You know, he's on the wrong side of 25, I believe. And in this case, I mean, even as a guy in his late 20s, I know that, you know, that is the direction they need to go. They need to go in that direction. And they have multiple, um, I believe, yes, they do. And I think they do too. They have multiple substitute players on their main roster that they didn't even utilize really at all. And and that's a shame because Thunder Talk is in last place. They should be utilizing all their options to get better. Um, I think that, that that was a problem. They should have gotten some looks on players towards the end the last few weeks to um, ensure that they had, you know, their all their ducks in a row come in, coming into um, the offseason. So I think that that's where they need to go, and I think they need to replace New in top lane. New was, I think he was on OMG, if I recall. Um, he was on OMG, and now he's not, and he's way down here. And they upgraded, in my opinion, with Shanji, which is why Shanji isn't um, maybe the guy that I'm going to you know, criticize on OMG. But I think they need to look elsewhere in top lane as well. There's plenty of players out there, and I think if you're in 17th place, you need to utilize your substitutes, and you need to look elsewhere if you're Thunder Talk. Um, I was not impressed with their lack of um, willingness to spread out. Whereas you look at LGD, LGD definitely tried different things. Um, and in mid lane, it worked. I think J was an upgrade in mid lane. It was a big upgrade over uh, Yag y- y- or Yag or however you pronounce his name. Um, but. In the end, with LGD, their issue is they don't have a support. They have a bot laner turn support, and Core JJ may have revolutionized that whole entire thing. Yes, he's one of the best supports in the world, but I'm not thinking Jin Zhao is going to pull that off anytime soon. So, with that being the case, I think they need to invest in a support. I think they also should look at Fearness and say maybe we need to upgrade over him a bit. Um, Shadow as well. LGD should um you know really look to build around jay and eric in my opinion um going forward i think that they have the potential to be better than a team like team we but i mean we'll see um but i think in the off season that's what lgd should do team we i give team we credit team we and even ig ig for wrong reasons ig i think has a coach problem but <coughs> excuse me team we you swapped out um, junglers, and for the better. Bashang is an upgrade over View. View was good at times, but Bashang is better. And uh, GA, Shea in mid lane over Shanks, better. Zing in bot lane, better. Like, Team Wee is going to be better than 15th, I think. There are a lot of close series that they lost. I always mention the Weibo series where Weibo pulled it out on them. Team Wee had multiple series in the first half of the split that they should have probably won or been more competitive in. And I think even with that old roster, that's where they were. And now they're even better than that. I think that they have the potential to be much better than 15th. Um, if I had to pick a team out of these four that could, like, oh, surprise people, I think Team Wee is the one. Um, Bu actually was okay in top lane. 
looking at the peripherals, at least some of them. Um, so, I mean, that's where I, I think Team Wee just needs to zone in on, well, just needs to look at the starting five and roll with it. And I think that GA mid as the veteran and Zing in bot lane carrying them in that role. Excuse me. Um, IG needs a new coach. Um, I think that, I, I mean, the Zika for Nenny swap in top lane is, a, Zika is better than Nenny, but Nenny is also very raw and young. I think a team like TT should be looking at him um, and saying, I want to buy him off of you because clearly you don't want to use him and I need him. So if I'm Thunder Talk, I'm looking at them and saying, I want Nenny. Um, but as far as, you know, they swapped into jungle with June. June is solid. Mole is not very good, and neither is Wink. This is where the coach gap thing comes in. I think they should have stuck with Yukai and um, on in those roles. Those two, I think they should have stuck with throughout the split. Um, I think that those two are better than what they put in there, and um, I want to see what that looks like with Zika long term. Um, I think they have potential to be much better if the coach puts the best players in. Uh, Mole was, I mean, I kept comparing Mole to Jay for the last bit of the split, at least, that I watched, because both came in mid-split, and um, Mole was just irrelevant, and um, Jay was doing, you know, work for LGD. He was carrying at times. He was making plays, and I was like, I mean, IG really screwed this up, so... Um, you know, I, I think that's where they need to go. They need to decide on a five and get a different coach. Anyone's legend? I think, uh, Chow Chow in, uh, Chow Chow is, I think how you pronounce it? Chow Chow, Chow Chow. Uh, in the support role, I think he needs to go. I think bot lane is where they struggled most. Um, anyone's legend. I think swapping out Maple for Forge is okay. Um, I think mid lane, maybe they want to look elsewhere too. Um, but... As far as support, I think that they need a support. A lot of teams need supports. I think that is the role here that these teams are lacking in. They're not facilitating plays. They're not getting their bot lanes ahead. And um, it's not it's not good enough. And they're older. Like, they're, they're older players, too, that, I mean, I think it's just, it's time to move on. Time to move on and look elsewhere. Um, find a sub. Um, 12th place. I think Ultra Prime is the only team. Actually, I, I have Thunder Talk, obviously, with New. But Ultra Prime, um, they need to figure out what they want to do on top side. I think Hacker is not that good. I think he's holding them back. Um, Elk and Chaucey are literally hard carrying in bot lane. Crying is a solid mid laner, and I want to see how he does if they get a better um, and more stable situation on the top side. Allies is much better than ZS. I think. Uh, Allies should be the starter going forward, and he was towards the end of the split. And um, if they can get a jungler in there that's decent, um, maybe you look at a team like FPX and you say, hey, um, what about Beshuan? Beshuan, like how much do you want for him? Um, I think that they have to look like look there um, for a situation like that and find a jungler because um, they have uh, oodles of potential. I mean, I'm a, Elk is one of my favorite players. I think he is so good, and um, he's stuck on this team, as far as I'm concerned. So that is an area where I think they need to, could improve. And OMG, it's tough. So OMG is actually a younger team than I thought. Um, Shanji is an upgrade over New. I think that they could upgrade even more in top lane, but as of right now, I mean, they just did. So let's leave Shanji alone. Um, but Cold is, I think he was, he's already 26 years old. Um, that's their issue. Um, I think Abel at times can carry, but they're not facilitating plays from the support position, and Cold is struggling. And I think that that's where they need to look. They need to improve in the support role. Um, I mean, Aki also needs to do some improvements. I mean, he is a different jungler when he's on a carry jungler compared to a tank. And obviously people are going to say, well, yeah, of course he's different. That's a different champion. No, I mean, he doesn't do as well. He doesn't make plays on tanks like and tanks aren't necessarily supposed to make plays but his ganks are not as solid he's not as impactful in the game like you see people on like even a trundle impacting the game but aki 
Strundle does not impact the game. His Zin Zhao really doesn't impact the game. Earlier in the split when there was a Talon and a Kiana and and crazy things, yes, he was able to do it, and he's able to carry on Graves, and he's able to do things like that. But when it comes to the tank junglers, that's where Aki needs to improve, and that's where he should be improving. That is their biggest offseason need, is getting Aki, you know, because his champion pool is an ocean. It's, I think, tied for the most in the LPL with Karsa. So he can, he's willing to play these champions. He just has to improve on those champions, and that will make their team so much better. Um... Obviously, in the end, there were two games out of the playoffs. Uh, FPX was 8-8, eight and eight, I think, at ten, in 10th place. So, um, I mean, I think that that can make a difference. FPX is really stinking good, though. Um, I really, I, I mean, just sitting here right now, I said I really like these two teams, too. But those top 10 teams, like nine or eight or nine of them, I can say are like this team. I could see winning the LPL in some way, shape, or form. In the end, I mean, that's not going to happen. But... You know, you can make a case. You make take a leap of faith and for a couple of minutes make a case and you don't have to jump through hoops to do it. Where, um, you know, it's a shame because OMG, I think, are solid. Um, obviously, two totally different teams from the first two weeks pre-New Year break and after after the New Year break, OMG absolutely was maybe one of the worst teams in the LPL. Definitely, like, tier in terms of bad. Um, but... I mean, it's a young team. I don't... It's it's unfortunate. Like, IG is really young, too. And I'd really like IG to improve this uh, offseason as well and, and, and just decide on a five. But um, that's it for my, um, I, know, I don't know, breakdown of what these seven teams in the LPL might need to do this offseason to crack the playoffs in summer. Um, if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. It's a different thing, a different video that I've done um you know i don't normally do things like this um but i got four days to kill so lpl today lck tomorrow lec lcs thursday um where i just kind of gonna break down what these teams i think these teams need to do this off season um it's unfortunate that i really couldn't find any um academy stats for the lpl this uh season i don't know if the ldl is out of commission i really didn't look much farther into it Outside of the fact that I couldn't find stats, which is unfortunate. Um, so I couldn't say, oh, well, actually, with Thunder Talk and their three substitutes, or who, you know, whoever had three substitutes, I believe it's Thunder Talk. I, I mean, I can't look at stats and say, oh, well, in Academy, they're actually pretty solid, or they stunk, and they need to look outside of the org. Um, so, I mean, that's a thing where at least the other three regions I'll have stats. Um, but comment down below if you have any opinion of your own on these seven teams. And uh, I hope you come back later in the week for the other regions. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.